found Elliot live in Livingston, New Jersey, who's been hanging out with bees all morning. Hi, John. Well, you know, Cindy, everything is connected. Obviously, pollinators are crucial for our food supply, food crucial for you, but also drought crucial for all. So again, we have to review. I know it's I know you don't want to see this, but they did update the drought monitor map, and more of our area is under severe drought conditions. And when you take a look at that map, you see more of New Jersey, more of the South Shore of Long Island, and definitely more of the Hudson Valley. It's really far far worse into parts of New England, obviously mindful of our neighbors on the West Coast. But what that means is it does start to impact food supply, and you're going to see more of these mandatory water restrictions in place. In the city, just since the 1st of June, deficit almost three and a half inches. That's bad. Look at this. Parts of the area worse than that. I mean, parts of Long Island really suffering. Islip, 5.3, Newark over 8. So this is a really serious situation. JFK right now, minus 5. Now we do have a chance of rain. Pop-up shower today, pop-up shower tomorrow. Tomorrow night into Monday, that's the good news, where we see a better chance for more coverage of the rain. In fact, let's show you what's going on right now. Not much. A little bit of shower activity well west. Expand the view. You can see a more organized rainmaker in the mix in the Ohio Valley. Here's the deal. You don't really want heavy rain. We are going to see some brief heavy rain because that everything's like cement. That'll end up as just runoff. But there will be an element of a duration part. So that means it's over a couple of days. This afternoon, even the city could see a brief passing shower. So remember, maybe a little umbrella if you're made of sugar. Tonight should be fine. Should be okay for the Yankees. And then we see this fire up again tomorrow. What's interesting tomorrow, if you're planning travel tomorrow night, you could run into something on 78 or 80 if you're well west of the city. And then as we set our sights on Monday, Monday overall is a busier day. Ooh, see the brighter colors? Those brighter colors indicating heavier rain. Could even see a thunderstorm in the area. This is Monday morning into and through the day on and off. Leftover scattered showers serving up more rain on Tuesday, which is some good news as well. Uh, don't forget sunscreen still needed. UV index of seven. Air quality moderate. Air quality alerts kick in for Connecticut later today. Elevated fire risk there as well. Pollen filling and it's that ragweed season. Seven day details just to give you the heads up. We are looking at yeah a better chance late Sunday into Monday into Tuesday. Hopefully we dry out a little later so we can enjoy something a little green. 